And we're doing proportions, and what is the title of this picture? So here we're looking at proportions a little differently. We have where we're looking at the numerator. We're also we're going to turn it into an equal proportion, and then we're also going to turn it into a percentage. Because as soon as we've got a denominator of 100, we can easily turn it into a percentage. So let's choose one of these, like, uh, which one looks good? C. Or C. Top right. Top right, good. 723 is to 1,000. So I'm going to write it up here. 723 is to 1,000. Because I'm going to switch over to Cornell note paper. Which should be here. Okay. Oh, wait. So the key question I want to solve is here. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. 723 is to 1,000. So we want to take 723 is to 1,000. And we want to turn it into something is to 100. Okay. What did we just do to turn a thousand into a hundred? We divided by. We divided by ten because we removed one zero, right? So what's seventy seven hundred and twenty three divided by ten? Seventy two and three tenths, right? Can you have a decimal in a fraction? Sure you can. You can do anything you want. You're in charge. Now that you have a numerator over 100, all you do is take it off the 100, 0.3%. That's it. Because remember, it's hundreds. Percentages are out of a hundred. Fifty out of a hundred is one half, and it's also fifty percent out of a hundred. Percents. Percents. How many cents in a dollar? A hundred. Ah, per cents. Right? Question. If it, you always want to get, when you want to turn something into a percent, you always want to get your denominator to be 100. And as soon as the denominator is 100, just pull it off that denominator and put a percentage sign next to it. That's all it is. 723 by 10. So you take 723 divided by 10. How many tens in 72? Seven. Seven. So that's 70, right? 23 left. How many tens in 23? Two. Two. That's 20, right? We still have three left. We got to get rid of it. Put a decimal in, add a zero, bring it down. How many tens in 30? Three. And that's how we do it. Yeah, I just divided by 10. See, because if we went from 1,000 to 100, we had to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 10. Well, you do whatever you needed to do on the problem. Okay, so if we go back to the problem page, in some cases, we went from 10 to 100, so we have to multiply by 10. Here, we went from 50 to 100, so we multiply by Two. You have to look at what the circumstances is, are. Okay? Does that answer your question? Great.